Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, we are going to talk about vCenter configuration. One of the main important vCenter configuration is we should know about how to add an ESXi host to vCenter server. As we know, to manage multiple ESXi hosts, we require a vCenter server. So in this diagram, we have ESX1, ESX2, and ESX3. On top of the ESX, we can create multiple virtual machines. To manage multiple ESX hosts, we require a vCenter server. We can call it as vCenter server appliance. Okay, in short form, vCenter. And now I'm trying to show you the vCenter use cases. Before we start explaining the, all the use cases, let me log into our lab system. Seems it's uh, not connecting. Let me connect. Let me close and reopen. Just checking. Yeah, it's connecting now. Okay, once we connect to the our lab system, let's make sure that our Active Directory server should be upstate and ESX1, ESX2, ESX3. We have three ESX here, all the hosts are up, and even the VS Center server is up. So let's open any browser and connect to our vCenter server and enter our vCenter server login credentials. Once we connect to the vCenter server and now we have a, some existing data centers like site A, site B and site C. If we want to add an ESX host, we can add the ESX host only under the data center. You can choose randomly any data center. Suppose I'm selecting the data center as site A data center. Right click the site A data center. You can see the first option is add ESX host. So select add ESX host and you can enter our ESX host IP address. Let's say we have one of the ESX is ESX01 demolab.com. It's our domain name. It's a fully qualified domain. Either you can enter the host name or you can enter the IP address. Now click on next and you can enter the username. Let's say username is root and assign the password. Now click on next. So while adding the ESX host, see it is providing the complete ESX host summary and the vendor for this ESX is VMware. OK, and the current version is 7.0.3. It's that means it's a 7.0 update 3. Now click on next and assign the license. Currently we have a evaluation license. It's a trial, a trial period. It will be expired in a next 15 to 52 days. So if you have official license key in the real time scenario, you can enter the license key here. Now click on next and lockdown mode. Default lockdown mode state is disabled. If you want to set the lockdown mode based on your organization uh, security compliance, you can enable. But in general, it should be in a disabled state. Now click on next. And virtual machine location, we are choosing the location as a site A data center. So under this data center only, ESX host is going to add. And here is the complete summary. Our ESX host name and the data center and the ESX 7.0.3 evaluation version network also adding. And the lockdown mode is default. We set it to disable. And now click on finish. Once we click on finish, in the recent task, you can see our ESX host adding status. You can also see from the monitor tab task, we can see that add standalone host status is completed. So now under the site A, we can see ESX host one is added.
And similarly, if you want to add a multiple year success force, we can add the multiple year success force. Suppose if you want to add an, another data center also, same procedure, select the second data center, right click, and you can choose add host, and you can enter the year success host name, let's say ESXS02, click on next, and you can enter the login credentials and password, Now click on next and click on next and we can see the evaluation license. Click on next, next, next and finish. So here also standalone host is added and addition is in progress. 90% status. It is completed. So same way we can add here another data center. So ES access three next. So this time we can go a bit faster. So select root and assign the password. Click on next, next, next and finish. So ESXA3 also added. And we also have another standalone host. Uh, let me check whether the host is up and running or not. Yeah, host is up and running. Uh, this is the ESXA3. ESXA4, sorry. Yeah, it's up and running. OK, we can try to add this host also. Let's say we are trying to add under the same host, same data center, site A, or we can choose Grand Cloud Garage. Right click here, add host. Here this time we can plan to add it with the IP address. We can test how we can add with the IP address also. Same procedure. Next, and you can enter the login credentials. Click on next, next. So same procedure, finish. So totally we have added a four ES access host to our vCenter server. See, add standalone host in progress. So completed. So if you select our main hierarchy vCenter server, go to the host tab, you can see within our vCenter server, we have a multiple ES access host. It is showing ESX3 is in maintenance mode. Let's see, you can exit from the maintenance mode. So like this, we can add a multiple year success host to vCenter server. But here I am showing you how to add a success host directly under a data center level. Suppose if you want to add under a cluster, select the data center, right click, and you can create a cluster. But this features DRS, HA, and vSAN, I will show you in the next session, and the importance of all these three configurations. So I'm just preparing a one cluster, let's say production cluster, click on next finish. You can add the day host directly to the cluster as well. If you want to add it to the cluster, select the ES success host and this is the icon for the ES success host. Drag and drop it here. So under production cluster, we have a ES success host. Even if you want to add the another host also under the same cluster, you can just first you can move the ES success host directly from the data center first. If it is showing the error message, that means we need to place it into the maintenance mode. If you want to move from a data center, just now drag and drop it under the another data center. Let's say I am moving on to the NAND cloud garage data center and same way the other one also. And similarly for other host. Okay, now three hosts under the one data center which is under the GNAN cloud carriage. Suppose these three hosts want to add it to a cluster. So just add. Even if the host is in a normal mode, when we add it to the cluster, it will make it into a maintenance mode. Okay, because there is no much resources, that is, it's in the normal state. Once we add it under the cluster, you, if you want to remove from maintenance mode, just select the host, right click, and exit from the maintenance mode. So we have observed the three two options. One scenario is we can add the host directly under the data center, and the second use case is we can add the ESXA host under the cluster. Okay, let's back to the slide. So this is the main use cases. So ESXA host use cases 
host is a server that uses a virtualization software such as ESX, Elastic SkyX. It is a virtualization software. It allows to create a multiple virtual machines. And also host means ESX server provides a CPU and memory resources that virtual machines uses. And one use case is we can add it under a vCenter data center. So we just now verified the how we can add it under a data center. And the second use case is add it to the vCenter cluster. We just now noticed how we can move the ESX host directly to the cluster. So this use case also we tested. And another scenario in the real time uh, when we are using a real time infrastructure, we can keep the ESX host as a standby host. That means we can add on our vCenter server ESX host, but we keep it as a standby. The reason for the standby host is whenever there is any resource crunch in our vCenter server, during that time we can use a standby ESX host. That is one scenario. Another scenario, suppose any of our ESX hosts having a unexpected hardware related issues. During that scenario also, we can use this standby host. That is the purpose of use case three and use case four. Add it to a storage, add it as a storage node in HCI environment. HCI means hyper-converged infrastructure. When we are using a hyper-converged infrastructure, we are using a normally a uh, storage coming from a ESX host node only. There is no any of the external sandboxes. So we can use our ESX host also as a storage node. That is one of the use case. When we have a data store is running with a over 80% usage or over 90% usage scenarios, we'll go for a use case for. But the adding the host to the vCenter, it's still in a same procedure. But whatever the ESX host consists of the local hard disk, that hard disk we can use it as a storage for our HCI clusters. And use case five. Add two ESX host to vCenter stretch cluster. This is one of the key point. When we are using a stretched cluster environment, the when we are adding the ESX host to vCenter, the recommendation is add one host under the site A data center cluster and another host will be in a site B cluster. So when they are using a stretched cluster environment, remember that when we are adding one host on a one site, the same similarly, we need to add another host in a site B. That is recommendation for stretched cluster. We always maintain a stretched cluster equal nodes. Site A have a seven nodes means and site B also we must maintain a seven nodes. So this is also one of the key point. So that's it for today. Thank you. So please help to subscribe NAND Cloud Carriage for more videos. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now.